how I look like. <laughs> Okay, ladies and gentlemen, firstly I'd like to thank Mike for those uh, kind and sincere words. I'm not sure I'm going to top that speech, that was uh, professional. Um, I had planned to make a very short speech today, uh, but then I realised that you're all witnessing a special moment in history, as this will likely be the one and only time that Hannah will let me speak on the behalf of the both of us. <laughs> so, I, I may be here some time. <laughs> so, um, I'll get this out of the way. <laughs> On behalf of my wife and I, I'd like to start by thanking everyone here for sharing our special day with us. It's amazing to feel all of this love and friendship, and we hope that you are enjoying the occasion, uh, the occasion every bit as much as we are. Uh, we would also like to thank you all for the wonderful cards and gifts that you have given us. Uh, we are genuinely touched by your generosity. Um, we'd also like to say a special thank you to those that have travelled some distance to be here today. Jodie and Craig have flown into the UK from Greece, George has flown in from Turkey, uh, as well as all of you who have travelled up from the south coast, as well as all over the UK. It's quite a humbling experience to realise that you have friends and family that care so much for you. Uh, I'd like to thank both Mike and Jill for your hospitality on this amazing day and for all that you have done for us. I recall how apprehensive I was while sat in a greasy spoon cafe in North London before an Arsenal match waiting for Hannah to nip off and go to the loo before blurting out and asking Mike's permission to marry her. Fortunately, you said yes, despite being very much ambushed and put on the spot. Um, I'd also like to thank you both for welcoming me into your family. It really has meant a lot to me and for bringing up a wonderful and intelligent daughter. I'll leave it to you to argue over which trait comes from whom, but I promise you I will take good care of her. Jill, um, we have a present here for you. Oh, thank you very much. I'll get that tonight. That's for the both of you as well. Oh, thank you. Very nice. I just want to say thank you to my parents, Chris and Denise, because quite literally, I wouldn't be here without them. <laughs> um, they've put up with me all of these years and have been uh, there for me through thick and thin. Mainly thick, if I'm being honest. Um, I probably don't thank them oft as often as I should for what they do for me and for Hayden. So thank you, and I'm very proud to have you as my mum and dad. Um, mum, I have a present here for you as well. Um, I'd like to thank the bridesmaids, Jules, uh, Trish, Beth uh, and Emma for all that you've done in preparation for today and especially Jules for the now legendary Dublin Hem Weekend. <laughs> um, <laughs> you all look amazing today and you've done a brilliant job and were no doubt frantically calming Hannah's nerves this morning during her preparation and as she actually walked down the aisle, uh, you must have done something right, thank you. Run down the aisle. <laughs> run, yeah, okay, yeah. As she actually ran faster than Usain Bolt down the aisle, <laughs> you actually must have done something right. So, um, will everyone, first of all, please stand and lift your glasses and join me in a toast to the bridesmaids. To the bridesmaids. Bridesmaids. Keep me going. <laughs> Just on, quickly rush up, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I wanted to take this opportunity to thank Craig and my two ushers, Stu and Matt, for all your help both today and in the lead up, um, and for sticking to the unwritten rule that no one should look more handsome than the groom. So, uh, I'd like to thank my wife for agreeing to marry me. What? <laughs> And for, make, and for making me the happiest and luckiest man alive. I was a little bit apprehensive when, after moaning about her eyesight for the last few years, Hannah actually went and got a pair of glasses after the proposal was accepted. But fortunately, she didn't seem to be too shocked when she put them on and looked at me. Um, I know everyone here will agree with me when I say, Hannah, you look stunning today. Um, and early this afternoon, as you walked down the aisle towards me, you look beautiful and you actually took my breath away. Um, when I think back to when we first met on opposing sides of a charge desk at Portsmouth Central, <laughs> it was definitely not romantic. With a distinctive background smell of, chels, uh, of cheesy feet and owed a drunken prisoner, I'm sure every uh, police officer and solicitor in the room will know what I'm talking about, um, I had no idea that nearly five years later we'd be stood here today. 
Um, in that time, we've shared so many good times together. We've laughed a lot, watched a lot of football, taken exotic holidays together, enjoyed meals and uh, nights out together and with friends and family, and also dealt with adversity when we've come up against it. You're my best friend, and you have also given me support, trust, made me laugh, and accepted me for who I am. However, I, I, knowing you as I do, I know you'd hate me to stand here and tell you how happy you make me and how I intend to spend the rest of my life making sure the reverse is true. Well, tough as I've said it, anyway. But to balance it out slightly, I will also say that you're stubborn, frustrating, <laughs> slightly crazy, and you annoy me more than I ever thought was possible. <laughs> Yeah, but I love you for all those reasons, and I want to spend every last irritating minute with you. Yeah. Um, I found a quote which says, we are all a little bit weird, and life's a little weird. And when we find someone whose weirdness is compatible with ours, we join up with them and fall in mutual weirdness and call it love. Which I think sums our relationship up, relationship up perfectly. And suffice to say, Hannah, I love you very much, and I can't wait to grow older and greyer with you in mutual weirdness. <laughs> um, ladies and gentlemen, please stand and raise your glasses in a toast to my wife, Hannah. To Hannah. <laughs>